Hi guys, it's Tara from HockeyWise here. A couple of the team and I thought we'd put together some basic stick handling exercises so you can continue to raise your game at home while you're being hockey deprived. We'll demonstrate and explain each exercise as we go. Feel free to send us your videos or any questions you might have. Here we go. Hi, I'm Ange. Hi, I'm Jana. Our first exercise is the four short, four wide transition. Start with the puck in front of your body and complete four short stick handles. Then transition to four wide stick handles. You should repeat this at least four to six times. Make sure that you roll your top hand, ensuring that you cup and cradle the puck on both the forehand and backhand of your stick, as demonstrated. To challenge yourself more on any of these exercises, attempt lifting your head and using your peripheral vision to see the puck. The next exercise is a three point around the body transition. Start with the puck in front of your body. At each point, you will be completing four or so short stick handles, shifting the puck from in front of your body to the forehand side, back to in front, and lastly to the backhand side of your body, as demonstrated. Repeat this at least four to six times. Remember to keep your feet forward facing and stationary. Use your top hand roll to make it easier to stick handle on all angles around your body, as demonstrated. Next, we have the forehand toe drag. Let's get used to the motion by starting with the shortened version. With the puck in front of you on your forehand side, place the forehand toe of your stick blade over the puck, like so. Drag the puck back towards your body with the toe of your stick, rolling your top hand to rotate your stick to stop the puck on the forehand side of the blade. Push the puck forward to start again and repeat this at least four to six times. Next, we're moving on to the full version of the forehand toe drag. Starting the same, drag the puck towards your body with the toe. However, instead of stopping it, continue the motion smoothly around and up to the opposite side of your body onto your backhand, like so. Repeat this at least four to six times. Using an object can help ensure that you pull the puck in nice and close to your body, like so. Get creative and add more objects to challenge yourself, like Ange does here with a double toe drag. Next up is a backhand toe drag. We will use the shortened version to get used to the motion. Start with the puck in front of you, slightly to your forehand side. Place the backhand toe of your stick blade over the puck, like so. Drag the puck across the front of your body, rolling your top hand and stopping the puck with the backhand side of your stick blade. Repeat this at least four to six times. Now we will move on to the full version of the backhand toe drag. Start with the puck on the forehand of your stick and the forehand side of your body, in line with your feet. As you start to move the puck forward, quickly flip your stick and catch the puck with the toe on the backhand side of the blade. Then drag the puck across your body, stopping the puck on your backhand, like so. Repeat this at least four to six times. Adding objects can help give you targets to ensure the start and finishing positions of your toe drag, as demonstrated here. Next we have the horizontal figure eight drill. Firstly we will start with the forehand and backhand pull version, bottom to top, moving the puck through the objects in a figure eight smoothly with minimal stick handling, like so. Repeat this at least four to six times. Next is the forehand and backhand toe drag variation, top to bottom, using the same objective but in the opposite direction, toe dragging on both forehand and backhand sides, like so. Repeat this at least four to six times. An alternative to this variation is an added stick handle without the toe drags, moving around the figure eight in the same direction, top to bottom, as demonstrated here. Try to pick up your speed as you go. You can transition from this back to the toe drag variation, as demonstrated. Our last drill is the vertical figure eight drill. Move the puck through the figure eight obstacle using your reach with fixed hand positioning or your bottom hand slide, whichever you prefer, to move the puck in and far away from your body, 
using minimal stick handling, as demonstrated here. After completing four or so in one direction, switch the direction. Repeat this at least four to six times. We hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more action from HockeyWise. Thanks.